Hi, welcome to Model Yoga. I'm Yogi Troy, and in this season of Model Yoga, we'll be focusing on the chakra system. The chakras are the energy centers in your body, and each of the seven chakras corresponds to different mental, energetic, and emotional qualities that are within you. There are seven episodes to correspond with each of the chakras. We'll be increasing your awareness of these energy centers while strengthening, toning, lengthening, and balancing your body and your mind. As a model, gaining awareness of your physical body, your energy, your emotions, and your thoughts will help you to feel more present, calm, balanced, and ready to achieve your maximum potential. Whether you're a beginner or advanced yogi, always remember to listen to your body, move at your own pace, and take the postures as far as is comfortable for you. I'm Yogi Troy, and this is Model Yoga. Today's focus is the sixth chakra or the third eye chakra, the Anya chakra. The sixth chakra is your center for connecting with your intuition, vision, and perception. The first five chakras focus mainly on the physical and are a little easier to tap into. With the sixth chakra, we're still gonna be doing physical postures, but we'll focus our energy on our mind and the awareness of our thoughts. When the sixth chakra is balanced, you have a sense of clarity and trust that everything is perfect just the way it is. We'll get started in a comfortable seated position. You can either sit on your knees or feel free to find a cross-legged position. I'm going to sit on my knees and with a block underneath my hips. If you haven't already allowed your eyes to close, allow your eyes to close, roll your shoulders back and down and away from your ears and let your spine grow nice and tall. We'll be guiding you through just a brief seated meditation. Throughout your career as a model, questions may arise like, how can I best promote myself? How do I keep my look fresh? Or what is the next step I should take in my career? These questions and thoughts are natural and expected. There can be a lot of uncertainty in a modeling career. And when uncertainty arises, it takes a lot of faith and trust that you're moving in the right direction. Thoughts and questions can run wild in your mind. Here in Seated, we'll just bring your awareness to your thoughts and let them be what they are. Awareness of your thoughts is the first step in being able to control and calm the mind. Notice your mind. Notice your thoughts. Let them be what they are. And then bring your awareness to your breath. Take three deep inhales through the nose and soft open mouth exhales. to land in your practice. When your next exhale comes, allow the eyes to open. We'll get started this morning with a pranayama or a breathing exercise. So this breathing exercise is called bastrika breathing or sometimes I like to call it breath of energy. It's a great breath to wake yourself up in the morning or right before a photo shoot. So the breath is a thrusting inhale and a thrusting exhale. So the sound is like this. So just try and make that sound for a moment. And yes, with everything in yoga, you do it at your pace. And this morning with that breath, we're going to add in a gentle movement with the arms. So we'll float your arms up and overhead. When we exhale out of the nose with a thrusting exhale, we'll bring our arms down towards our ribs. So exhale. When we inhale, it'll be a thrusting inhale and the arms will float up and overhead. And then we repeat, exhale and inhale. Keep the head still, the spine long. All right. So that's the movement, and now we'll guide you through the breath. So close your eyes, roll the shoulders back. Inhale your arms up and overhead. Relax your shoulders. Take a deep inhale through the nose, and a soft open mouth exhale. And we'll start the Bastrika breathing. Deep inhale, and then Bastrika breathing. We'll do about 15.
Last five, four, three, two, one. Deep inhale, float your arms all the way up and overhead and hold your inhale. And then with your exhale, we'll gradually let the hands drift down in the direction of your knees. Let the shoulders relax. Let your breath return to normal. Just pause and receive the effects of your bas streak of breathing. Allow your eyes to open. We'll make your way to a tabletop position. Just rolling up and over your feet or from your knees. Find your tabletop position. Take some gentle movement just to settle in. And we'll set up for a cat-cow pose. For cat-cow here, since the focus is the third eye chakra, when you inhale to cow, I'm going to encourage you to bring your gaze towards your third eye. Just the idea of it is good enough. When you exhale, come back to cat. With your inhale, find cow. Try not to strain your eyes, just gentle looking up to the third eye. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. And take three more breaths just like that. Great job. Eyes open or eyes closed, whichever is more comfortable for you. With your next inhale, we'll come back to a neutral tabletop. We'll open up your spine in another direction here with a gentle twist. So bring your left hand down to the mat, spread your fingers nice and wide. With your inhale, float your right hand up to the sky and open up to the right side of the room. Really try and press down so you can lift up. Find a gentle twist and opening in your chest. And then when your exhale comes, thread your right hand underneath and you'll land on your right shoulder. You'll be gazing over towards the left side of the room. Make any adjustments. You can keep the left hand where you're feeling stable. And then just surrender a little more pressure into the right shoulder. Exhale. Then bring the left hand back to the mat if it's not already. Press your left hand into the mat. Inhale and float your right hand all the way up to the sky. Reach all the way up to the sky. And then with your exhale, bring your right hand back down towards the mat. And we'll switch sides. Bring your right hand down to the mat. Inhale your left hand up to the sky. Open up, open up, open up. And then with your exhale, thread the needle. Bring the left hand under. Position the right hand wherever is comfortable for you. Let the neck be comfortable. We'll just take two to three breaths. to the mat. Press your right hand into the mat and then the inhale and float your left hand up to the sky. Open up, kind of countering the twist you just did and then plant both hands down to the mat. Wiggle your knees out towards the edge of the mat and sit back into child's pose. We'll be right back with some more insight into your yoga practice. back. Your physical yoga practice and the classes based on the other chakras will help you to know yourself and your physical body. With the sixth chakra, we will be tapping into another level of yourself that inspires and guides you. Like an inner guide that you are gradually building a relationship with to help lead you in the right direction. This takes time to develop, but by being in your yoga practice, you're on the right path. Allow your intuition to grow clearer and clearer day by day. From child's pose, exhale everything out. With your next inhale, float up to a gentle tabletop and then we'll transition to down dog. Spread your fingers wide, lift the knees, lift the hips. I'll give you a moment just to pedal out the heels. You can just let your head hang heavy. And then settle into stillness. 
exhale. With your inhale, look up in between your hands. And we'll walk both feet up in between your hands. Just coming to a gentle forward fold. Let the feet come towards the center of your mat. Inhale up to a halfway lift. Nice, long, flat back. With your exhale, we'll fold forward. With your next inhale, find another halfway lift. And then this time with your exhale, soften your knees. We'll step your left foot back to a low lunge. And just take a moment here to find your footing. We'll be setting up for an intense leg stretch, sometimes called intense side stretch. So step your left foot forward about a foot and then pivot your left toes out to about a 45 degree angle. When your inhale comes, find a long flat back. We'll eventually be trying to straighten the right leg, but for now it's okay if it's bent. And then when your exhale comes, try and bring your third eye towards your right knee. Exhaling and letting the head be heavy. Full inhales and full exhales. If you can't quite straighten the right leg, try and come up to blocks. And then inhale to the flat back and then exhale and gradually fold. And the openings take the time that they take. Try and breathe. See if you can bring the third eye all the way down towards your right knee. Last exhale. And with your inhale, we'll float up to a flat back. Step your left foot back to a low lunge. Soften your back knee, and we'll step your back foot up next to your front foot. Inhale up to the halfway lift, and we'll just go to the other side. With your exhale, step your right foot back to a low lunge. We'll step your right foot forward about a foot or so. You want about three to four feet between your feet along the length of your mat. Pivot the toes out. This side can be different, so inhale up to the halfway lift. And then exhale and fold. Try and maintain the leg straight if it will be straight. Bring your third eye in the direction of the knee. Maybe it's just the nose. Heavy head. It's okay if the knee stays bent. Just gradually work on the straightening. Great modifications with the blocks. Try and find your full expression. Forehead to the knee for the last two breaths. And with your next inhale, float up to a halfway lift. Step your right foot back. And we'll step your right foot up next to your left foot. Inhale up to a long flat back. We'll take one exhale and fold. Feel the length that you've created in the legs. And then with your next inhale, reverse swan dive all the way up towards Uttita Tadasana. With your exhale, let your hands drift down in the direction of your hips. We'll float the arms right back up and overhead. We'll come into Breath of the Angels. Exhale and sink down low. This time, bring your fingers towards your third eye, and then inhale and straighten up. Exhale and come down. Fingers rotate in towards your third eye and inhale up. Exhale, come down. We'll take three more just like that. Sink down a little bit deeper. This time, keep your legs straight as you inhale up. Then with your exhale, we'll dive forward. Take an inhale up to a halfway lift. With your exhale, fold forward. Take one more inhale up to a halfway lift. And then this time, we'll soften your knees. Step both feet back to a higher modified plank. Knees up or knees down, and then lower halfway down or all the way down. 
and then we'll inhale up to baby cobra or up dog. With your next exhale, transitioning through tabletop or rolling up and over your feet, find down dog. And we'll transition into dolphin pose. So from dolphin, from down dog, lower down to your elbows. Palms are face up in approximately the same position as you had in down dog. Let your gaze drift down towards the mat. Press the heels down in the direction of the mat. Keep breathing. And it may be possible for you to bring your third eye all the way down to the mat. This all depends on proportion and lengths of the bones of your body, the humerus bone, and then the length of your neck. We try and send the hips higher, let the heels get lower. This is a really challenging posture. You're gonna get a break in child's pose real soon. Try and take one more deep inhale. And then it'll be a nice, slow release to child's pose. Sink back into your child's pose. Let the third eye connect to the mat. Connecting with your inhales and your exhales. We'll be right back with some postures to establish trust. Welcome back. As a model, there will be forks in the road, decisions that need to be made, and choices that may not always be clear. Trust yourself. You know more than you think you do. The mind tries to come up with solutions to problems. It's what it's designed to do. But a lot of times it can overthink things, which can lead to a waste of vital energy. Sometimes it helps to go past the mind and to trust your intuition and your inner guide and take a leap of faith and let yourself fly. You never know where it may take you. Trust yourself. The postures in this segment are designed to build trust within yourself. With your next inhale, float up to a neutral tabletop position. We'll press back to down dog when you're ready. Spread the fingers wide. Find one open mouth exhale to let yourself connect with your breath. Inhale and Bring your gaze up in between your hands. Then we'll walk both feet up in between your hands. It's coming into a gentle forward fold. With your inhale, float up to a long flat back halfway lift. And with your exhale, we'll step your left foot back to a low lunge. We're using blocks in this segment. So if you have a block, find your block or a stack of books would work great. We'll inhale and soften your back knee and then Bring the block up to the highest height, and we'll spring forward and adjust the location of your block so that you're feeling stable. See if you can level your hips. So we want to try not to have the left hip open. Level the hips. And you can just stay here, straighten the right leg as much as it wants to straighten today. And then if you're feeling stable there, try and float your arms out to the side. So we're eventually heading towards warrior three posture. Flex your back toes down towards the mat. And then see if you can reach your arms up and overhead. Maybe even try and interlace all of your fingers. And really try and reach. Great job, breathe. Take your back heel just a little bit higher. Torso just a little bit lower. Gaze where is, com where is this comfortable for you. Last inhale, full expression, awesome job. And then we'll exhale and release down to the low lunge. Step your back foot back. Give yourself a moment just to lower the back knee and stretch the right hamstring briefly. Walk your hands back up. Lift the back knee and we'll set up to switch sides. Step the left foot forward. Take a brief inhale to the flat back just to connect with your breath. And exhale, right foot back. We'll do the same thing. Finding the block at its highest height and then springing forward. Find your stability. Find your strength. Float the arms when you can. 
Allow the hips to level up, bringing the right hip down just slightly. Float the arms up and overhead with your next inhale, really trying to reach. Strong focus, interlace the fingers if you can. Try and hold right where you are. Trust that you have the strength inside of you. You have the energy, last inhale. And then exhale as a slow release down to the low lunge. Lower the back knee and just shift back once. Give the left leg a gentle little stretch. Great job. And we'll come back up to the low lunge. Back knee lifts. Step your right foot up next to your left. We'll move on to the next postures. Inhale up to a halfway lift. Exhale, step your left foot back. We'll be using our block again. Next posture is called half moon. So this time take the block to the highest height and we'll spin it sideways. And then bring it out in front of you and try and float forward up onto the right foot. Straighten your right leg and then gradually try and open up towards the left side of the room. The back leg is parallel with the floor. Maybe you can try and let go of your block, otherwise try and hold right where you are. Strong right leg, roll the left hip open. Great job, keep breathing. See if you can flex your left toes towards your left hip or towards your face. Hold right where you are. Strong breath, engage your core. Engage your core. Awesome, last inhale. And then it'll be a real slow release to a low lunge. Bend your right knee. Take a moment and we'll set up to switch sides. Only when you're ready, we'll step the left foot forward. Just a flat back inhale to connect with your inhales and your exhales. Right foot will step back and we'll set up for half moon on the opposite side. Left hand comes forward to the block. Floating the back foot up. And there's no rush in yoga, so don't feel like you have to get there immediately. Take your time, you can always press pause. And float the right hand up. If you can, try and straighten the left leg. Roll the chest open. Flex your right toes towards your right hip. Try and hold right where you are. Keep breathing. Find one fixed point to fix your gaze. And then find your confidence. Trust your strength, trust yourself. Last inhale. Great breathing. With your exhale, we'll come back to a low lunge. Give yourself a moment to do any shifting front to back. And we'll switch feet. So step the right foot up. The inhale is a flat back. Exhale, we'll just step the left foot back to a low lunge. We have one more set of postures. This next posture is revolved triangle. So we'll step your left foot forward, maybe about a foot. It takes some time to figure out exactly where you want it. So you'll have some time to play with it. We'll bring your left hand down to the mat or feel free to grab your block again and find a height that works for you. And then we open up towards the right side of the room. So if you have the block, find the height that works for you. Otherwise, you can just bring your left hand down to the floor, push down. And we're trying to keep the hips level and the torso level. Take one more inhale and find a little more length. You might even be able to walk your left hand to the outside of your right foot. Last inhale, find your full expression. This take, takes a lot of guts. Trust in your balance. Trust in yourself, last inhale. Then the exhale will release down to a low lunge. Great job, that's a really hard posture. Slide the block off to the side so it's out of your way and then we'll switch sides. Step the left foot up next to the right. Inhale to a halfway lift. And we'll switch sides. Step your right foot back. Find the position you'd like for the right foot, stepping it forward just about a foot. 
and then bringing the right hand down to the mat. You can take the right hand flat or you can come up to your fingertips and then open up towards the left side of the room. So breathing, find the comfortable gaze. You might even bring your energy to your third eye, your intuition, where you can find something else within you to really try and nail the pose. Hold right where you are, keep breathing. Find stillness. Last inhale. Beautiful postures. When your exhale comes, we'll lower down. Slide blocks off to the side. Step your right foot back to a low lunge. Take any gentle rocking and then we'll step your right foot up next to your left foot. Inhale up to a halfway lift. With your exhale, fold forward. With your next inhale, reverse swan dive all the way up towards standing. Float your arms up and overhead. Bring your palms to touch. Allow your eyes to close and just bring your thumbs down in towards your third eye and pause there. Relax your shoulders. Connect with your inner guide, your inner guru, your intuition. We'll be right back with your cool down. Welcome back. As we move into our cool down, really try to tune into your inner guide, slow down, breathe, and go within. Connect your breath with a deep inhale and a soft exhale. With your next inhale, float your arms up to Utita Tadasana or Extended Mountain Pose. We'll connect with your breath and your body. Exhale, breath of the angels. Sink down, bring your fingers towards your third eye as you inhale up. Exhale, come down. Big circle, last time down. Exhale. This time when you inhale, up. Float the right knee up. Take your arms out to the horizon and we'll set up for eagle legs. So try and find the wrap of the right toes back around the left calf. If you can't find that wrap, try and just come and bring the right toes down to the floor. Then we'll find the wrap of the arms. The right leg is up and over. So take your right arm under and then bend the elbows and try and bring your palms to connect. Square your hips towards the front. Press your back up against an imaginary wall behind you. If it's available to you and comfortable for your shoulders, let the hands or fingers or thumb come towards your third eye. Last exhale. With your inhale, unwind your arms, unwind your legs, float your right knee up. Then we'll set up to switch sides. It'll be the same way. Exhale, come down. Inhale and float your left knee up. This is a different side. So proceed with caution. Take the left knee up and over. Be careful with your knees. You can take the left toes down to the mat. Really try and bend down into the right knee and then find left arm under. Find the wrap with the arms. Strong legs. Great job. See if you can square the hips towards the front. Grow long and tall. Bring the back. Bring the back. A little bit further back. Last exhale. Great job. And with your inhale, unwind the arms. Unwind the legs, float the arms up and overhead. Bring your left foot down to the mat. Come into Breath of the Angels just for one breath. Sink down, inhale up, keep the legs straight, and then exhale and swan dive forward. Take an inhale up to a flat back. With your exhale, we'll make your way down to seated. Grab your blocks. 
was set up for Janyushasana, or a one-legged seated forward fold. So extend both legs wide. And then we'll bring your left foot in towards your inner right thigh. You might need a block over towards the right side, so grab your block and have it handy. Square your hips and your shoulders over towards your right thigh. When your inhale comes, float the arms up and overhead. And then when your exhale comes, fold forward. You might be able to reach and grab the right foot and bring the third eye all the way down to the knee. Still breathing, feeling a nice lengthening along the back side and left side of the torso. You might take your block down to the thigh and then allow the third eye to, relax, to rest on the block. Different heights, medium height or a higher height depending on your flexibility and your proportions of your physical body. We try and let go into the posture. Last exhale. Walk your hands back up. Bring your block along with you to the other side. We'll extend your left leg long. Bring the sole of the right foot into the left inner thigh. You inhale the arms up and overhead. Square your torso over towards your left thigh. And then exhale and fold forward. Bring your blocks along with you. Setting up the height that works for you. You can make the posture as intense as you want by grabbing the foot or the ankle and pulling or just let gravity do the work. It's your yoga practice. Only you know your physical body. Tap into your inner guide. Last exhale. Now we'll walk your hands up. Slide the block off to the side. Extend both legs long towards the front. Position your heels towards the front. And then inhale your arms up and overhead to gentle seated position. We'll set up for Shavasana or relaxation pose. Take as many breaths as you can to lower all the way down to your mat. Make any minor adjustments to the position of your legs and arms. Maybe taking your palms down by your hips and flipping the palms face up. And final Shavasana or relaxation pose is just as important as all the other postures. So all of your efforts and all the beneficial effects of your postures, really given the time and space to settle in and create permanent change. There's really nothing left for you to do. Just allow yourself to let go. Trust and surrender. Wiggle your fingertips and your toes. Give yourself a nice long stretch, taking your arms up and overhead. Bringing your knees in towards your chest, giving yourself a gentle little squeeze. And rolling off to your side, taking a moment. And just at your pace, pressing your way up to a comfortable seated position, allowing your eyes to remain closed. 
So as you close your practice, staying in tune with yourself, your intuition. We hope you're feeling a sense of calm and an open-mindedness. Developing your intuition takes time. Clarity doesn't happen overnight. Take steps in new directions, test the waters, and trust. When it feels right, take the leap of faith. Believe that you are exactly where you need to be and trust that you are headed in the right direction. Allow your eyes to open. Thank you for joining us today. Please remember to drink plenty of water. Until next time, I'm Yogi Troy, and this is Model Yoga. Namaste. Namaste.